sustainability is sort of the world waking up to the fact that resources are limited, energy is limited, we're using too much, population is growing. So we're standing in front of a, a three meter tall model in scale one to 50 to the original building. The original building, of course, in uh, Haymarket, Sydney, the UTS uh, current administration building. And uh, we built this actually with the help of very friendly UTS students, first years, very smart people, um, who spent the last three weeks laser cutting all these um, timber panels and stretching the fabric around uh, aluminium frames around the tower. This particular project engages with the idea of transforming existing buildings rather than pulling them down and rebuilding them in a sustainable manner, maybe with a minimal um, intervention transforming the tower altogether, which is quite different. By pulling down a tower, there's a lot of material with embedded material energy that has to be either recycled or disposed of. In this case, um, the original tower stays as it is and it's wrapped with a lightweight skin. 55% of the world's energy demand comes actually from buildings and 50% of the pollution of the world comes from buildings as well. Starting from urban solutions down to the individual buildings, architects have a lot to answer for and have a great responsibility for the future of the planet. MASTA is an initiative of the government of Abu Dhabi to build an entire city from scratch to sort of reinvent urbanism, to build a city from scratch, starting new, based on sustainable principles. It's a car-free city, a carbon-free city. Uh, the entire city is solar-powered, renewable energies, unlimited supply, and uh, pedestrianized. Um, often in existing cities, every small step to introduce sustainable principles is very hard and very long, politically difficult and um, economically difficult. But if you start from scratch, you sort of have a second chance of building a new sustainable city. And uh, we won a competition for the center of the city, for the central plaza of the city. And for us, uh, it opened a whole new world of architectural ideas. But uh, it pushes the limits on all the different levels and of urbanism that you can think of. And if only 10% of that could filter down into the cities around the world that are being built every day, that would be an incredible achievement. The perception that sustainability is expensive is uh, wrong. Essentially, sustainability is something that should be inherently incorporated in every project and doesn't mean additional cost, it just means additional intelligence put into the design process. Um, often with simple techniques, such as natural ventilation as opposed to air condition, you can save hundreds of thousands of dollars. The long-term consequences of unsustainable buildings are much more expensive, and it might not be for this generation, it could be for the next generation. We cannot afford to build unsustainable buildings. Thank you.